hi and welcome to the channel for today's tutorial i'll be sharing how i made this skirt with front slits and a bow tie knot please stick to the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i've marked out all my measurements so i'm going to use it as my starting point which is my waist so after marking my waist what i'm going to do is to place my tape and i'll measure seven inches to get my hip line for a much taller person, you can go down by 8 inches. And from there, I'm going to get my skirt length. After getting my skirt length, I'm going to mark 2 inches for folding allowance. So at my waistline, I'm going to be inserting my waist circumference divided by 4 plus my sewing allowance. So I'm making use of 2 inches allowance. So because I'm adding that to the dress, I'm going to add half inch making it two and a half inches allowance and i'll make a mark at that waistline so at the hip line i'm going to place my tape and i'll mark the hip circumference divided by four and i'm going to mark my sewing allowance going down to my skirt length so whatever i have at my hip point i'm going to minus two inches from it and i'm going to mark it at my skirt length so the reason why i'm doing this is to have that pencil look at the down part of the skirt so if your hip is 40 inches you're going to do 40 divided by 4 giving you 10 plus your sewing allowance two and a half inches that is 12.5 and you're going to minus two inches so you're going to have 10.5 which you're going to mark so this is an instance after marking that you're going to mark it at the folding allowance of your skirt also the next thing I'll be doing from here is to connect the marks that I have made. So from my hip point, from my waist point, sorry, I'm going to connect down to my hip point. And from my hip point, I'm going to connect it down to my skirt length. So I'm just going to make use of a freehand sketch at this point. After connecting it to my skirt length, I'll connect it down to the folding allowance. I'll go ahead and pin down my pattern and I'm going to use my marker to outline the marks or what I've drawn out. I'll place my ruler and I'll outline where my skirt stopped. After that is to insert your dart. But for my dart, I'll be doing it directly on my skirt. But I'm also going to show you an illustration of how I'm going to do that. So for my dart, I'm going to place my tape this way and I'm going to measure 3.5 inches which is my bust pan and from that 3.5 inches I'm going to measure down by 6 inches so from there I'll be marking my dart. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out my skirt pattern. So with this, my sketch pattern is ready. As you can see, it was easy and very fast. So the next thing I'm going to do from here is to open up my sketch pattern. So from here, you're going to decide where you want your slit to be, whether on the right or on the left side of your sketch. And also from here, you're going to decide the length of your slit or where it's going to start. So for my skirt slit, I'm going to place my tape at my navel and I'm going to get 14 inches. So my skirt length is actually 20 and I want my slit not to be too high. So my slit is going to start at 14 inches. So I'm going to make a mark at that 14 inches where my skirt slit will start. So I'll make a little dotted lines around that 14 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my tape and I'll put it across that 14 inches. So whatever I have there, I'll be dividing it into three. So the reason why I'm doing this is because my slit is going to be at the side. So if you want your slit to be at the center, you're going to divide your measurements by two, having two equal parts. So since it's going to be at the center, I'm going to measure at that point and whatever i have i'll divide it into three or divide it by three so the measurement i have at this point is 22.5 dividing it by three i have seven and a half so depending on the side you want your slit to be 
so i want my slit to be on this side so what i'll do is i'll place my tape from that side and i'll mark 7.5 so at that 7.5 mark i'm going to place my tape and i'm going to draw a straight line from that 14 inches that i marked earlier so i'll take my scissors and i'm going to cut open the slits so this is it after i've cut open the slit. so the next thing i'll do is to place my pattern and cut but before i do that i'll be drafting for my back so for your back pattern what you're going to do is easy you're going to fold your front pattern this way and you're going to attach your zipper allowance in front so if you're working with a two inches or one inch zipper allowance you're going to be attaching it at this point so next thing i'll be doing is to place my pattern and cut out so i've gone ahead and i've cut out the lining for my skirt and i've also cut out my skirt pattern so this is what i have at this point so the next thing i'm going to do is to place my pattern paper on my fabric so with this i'm going to determine the side i'm going to cut my slits on so at this point you can go ahead place your pattern and cut out your slits but i'll be showing you a very easy and beginner friendly way of sewing your slits without having any issue so with that i won't be slitting my skirt at this point i'm going to keep my pattern aside so what i'm going to do next is to turn up my skirt with the lining so i've gone ahead and i've turned my skirt up so what you're going to do is to place your pattern or you're going to cut it directly so at this my skirt pattern remember from where the let the slit started was from 14 inches so at that 14 inches i'm going to mark and remember we went in by 7.5 so on that 7.5 i'm going to mark which keeps me here so i'm going to take it down so if you can't get the straight line you can make use of your ruler to draw it so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to slit my skirt Please, at this point, if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative, please give this video a thumbs up. Drop your comment at the comment section. Share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. So after cutting it open, you're going to flip it to the other side. After you're done flipping it to the other side, at that slit side, you're going to pin it round. So the reason why you're doing this is for when you're sewing so that your slit won't be moving alongside with the lining to make your lining and your fabric stick together. After pinning it round, you're going to go over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch around it at that slit area. So after stitching it, you're just going to notch it so that you get that relaxed look or effect at the slit part. After slitting, you're just going to turn it to the right side. So after turning over, this is what you're going to have. And at this point, you're also going to iron it so that the slit part will be well relaxed. After doing this, you're also going to do the turn up for the back. So after doing this, you're also going to do the turn up for the back. So I've gone ahead and I've done my turn up. I stitched it down. So I also left a space for my zipper allowance. And at the lower side, I left for my slit so this is what i have so you're going to place your back pattern and then you take your front pattern and you replace on top so the next thing you're going to do right now is to shape your skirt so at the waist you're going to insert your waist circumference then you're going to measure seven inches downwards from that place you're going to insert your hip measurement and from here and at the lower part you're going to minus two inches on both sides and you're going to add, extend your lines to there in order to have a penciled or fitted skirt 
So also before you ship your skirt, you're also going to attach your darts. So I've gone ahead and I shipped my skirt and this is what I have. So I also cut out band for my skirt. So to cut out the band of your skirt, you're going to measure your skirt round. So you're going to take your tape and you're going to measure what you have round. Your waistline. And you're also going to be attaching the zipper allowance if you added zipper allowance at the back if it's one or two inches you're also going to add it to that so coming over to the band so the width of the band i cut out is four inches so to attach your band you're going to fold it this way and you're just going to place it and so so i'm actually going to show you two methods so one is you're going to place it this way and just attach with half inch so the other one is that you're going to open your pattern your band this way you're going to sew with half and then you're going to fold the other end and you're going to conceal it with it this way and you're going to top stitch so with this you're going to have a neater look so what I'll do right now is to go over to the machine and attach my band. So I'm done attaching my skirt band. So what I'll do, I'll iron it out later. So for my bow, so I'm working with this satin and I've already cut it out. So you can use any measurement of your choice. So for this, I'm using 18 and a half by by 14 inches so i'll be cutting out two satin for this one will serve as my lining and one will be serving as the front so for this also i placed my satin on it and i cut out a gum stay to infuse to one part of the satin in order to make it standing so you can also double your gum stay or you can use peplum stay if you want it to be very thick. What I'm going to do is I'll place this gum stay on it this way and I'm going to iron on it to actually make it stable. So going over to the next one, I cut out this piece for the center of my bow. So this piece is about four inches or four and a half inches by four and a half inches or so so what i'm going to do is to fold it this way and i'm going to top stitch at that point or stitch at that point i'm going to use this bow to gather my my bow at the center in order to give it that bow tie knot look so this is what this piece will be serving as so i'll go over to the machine and i'm going to sew so i'll go ahead and insert my zipper also at this point i'm done stitching and this is what i have as you can see i attach gum stay at the back i'm done sewing and this is what i have so at this part i left it open because i'll be turning it open from that part and I'll go ahead and notch. So if you notice, I used a colorful thread. So the reason why I also did this is just for you to know, notice that at some point I did not stitch. And I'm going to turn it up from that part. I'll also go ahead and notch the center piece. After notching the center piece, I'm just going to turn it to the right side. After flipping the center piece to the right side, I'm also going to flip the main piece to the right side. So I'm going to do that gently. So after turning my piece, this is what I have at this point. So what I'm going to do is that at that point, I turned it out. I'm going to fold it in this way. And I'm going to top stitch it. Right now, I'm going to use a black color of of thread and i will top stitch it after top stitching it i'll be creating my bow effect on the skirt so i'll place my skirts ready for me to attach my bow so what i'll do right now is i'll place my center piece and i'm going to stitch with half inch after stitching it with half inch i'm going to take my main piece so before i go and stitch it i'll just pin it down 
So after pinning it down, I'm going to take my center piece and I'm going to fold it down this way, creating a little ruffle or pleat on it. So after doing that, I'll just take my center piece and I will hold it down this way. I'll fold it inside and I'm going to top stitch. So after top stitching, this is what my skirt will be looking like. So I'll go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to do that right now. And I will bring it for you to see the final look for the final finishing. So I'm done attaching it to my skirt right now. So what I'm going to do, if you wear the skirt and the bow is falling off, you're just going to take little needle and thread and you're just going to tack it at both sides to hold it down. So with this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification button to get new updates from my channel.